what you think you look like eating versus what you really look like eating. <laughs> to another episode of The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. So finally, I think we're going to the vet today. I've been saying that for the past, I don't know, three episodes <laughs> and we've gone nowhere. Uh, but before we do anything, I do want to rename our new little family member. So cute, scratching his little head. So everybody, not everybody, but a huge majority of you guys were saying to name him Spice because our other cat was named Sugar. So you have Sugar and Spice, everything nice. Okay, so we are going to rename the little the little kitten right now. I guess I'll have to go into creative some for that. I guess, whatever. But then after this, we will finally go to the vet. So his name shall be Spice. He's a spicy boy. So I think now, without further ado, we are going to head over to Frosty Paws where we haven't been. Oh God, we just opened it. Oh God, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> oh, that, that was almost a disaster. Which actually, it could just be opened without us there. We have tested it before and Luna is supposed to take care of it. Oh no. I haven't been here since I removed my CC. <gasps> we have some work to do, my friends. We don't have any lights. Oh no. Okay. Easy peasy. No worries, you guys. No freaking worries. We will have this place being as lit as it was before. Put one over here. Let's put two in there. Two in there. Okay. I think we're good. Now, what else are we missing? What did we have that was custom? Oh, the wallpapers. Oh no. Oh no, I've just destroyed this place without even knowing it. Okay, I feel like these couches and this rug were not the ones that I chose. I'm pretty sure they weren't. So let's replace those. This one is matching our mint themes. I don't know if we can fit the same one over here. Let's see. Okay, this is good enough. So I have added in two more couches and I've added a table, replace that, put some cute little sculptures on there. Oh, our Christmas music is blaring loud. I kind of wish we could turn it down a little bit. Like just for my sake, cause it's just a little bit loud. But um, all right, we're gonna go ahead and open this baby up. We're gonna change into her pet uniform. And uh, yeah, you, you can have your drink of water. You, you can go ahead, you, get your water. It's about to be a busy day. And I do want to actually, um, uh, What's it called? Pay for her training, there we go. Oh, that's ex so expensive. Okay, yeah, let's do it. We'll do it anyways. We will do it anyways. Go ahead and give her the training. Training after my shift. Are you helping me improve or are you trying to tell me I'm not good enough? Either way, I better study hard. That's right, girlfriend. That's right. Where did that, didn't someone just come in here? where did they go? I swear someone came in here. I, I, Guess they didn't need the vet after all. Who knows? Oh, but look at this cute little poochie. Oh my gosh, what's their name? Ducky. Hi, little ducky. Oh, little ducky. Hi. Oh my god, what a cutie pie. Holy crap. Let's go examine ducky. Let's go, ducky. I guess your owner's just gonna stay out there. She doesn't care enough. I'm like glued to my dog's side when I take her to the vet. Glued. <laughs> like I do not leave. If I did, she'd probably freak out. She's not a huge fan of the vet um, until they start giving her treats and then it just starts to get better from there. It goes uphill rather than downhill once they bring out the treat jar. Cause pretty, that's how like you win her friendship over. Like if she's like scared of you, like give her a treat and then literally. Your friends after that. Like, it doesn't take anything else. <laughs> That's all it takes. $2,000? Did someone buy something? Amazing. Wait, we're doing another exam? What? I, it, this is glitching, I think. Let's end the exam. I'm pretty sure you're done. Are you not? I'm pretty sure. Okay, socks. We got a cute little fluffy kitty. We got a little fluff ball. 
Come on, Fluffball. Get up here. Floofy Floof. I haven't been to the vet in so long. Why is he all... What? What's going on? Why are you all so scared? Why is everybody freaking out? What's going on? It's weird that, like, my like my human patients are um, freaking out more than my pet ones. Something's wrong with that. <laughs> what you need? Okay. No one's needed surgery so far. Just really easy stuff. <gasps> Our rating increased! What? Wait, we were already four stars, I thought. Maybe now we're officially four stars. I thought we were already, but I guess not. Uh-oh, we got a surgery. We got a surgery kitty in here. Gonna have to go to the exam table. Let's go. Okay, let's let's hope nothing is seriously wrong with you. Ew, and you walked through your puke. Nasty. All right, let's do... A tum tum tickle tangle readjustment surgery. That's the one. That's a dog. I'm pretty sure. Um, oh my god. I gotta take a picture. <laughs> oh my lord. <gasps> what? This is like a Dr. Seuss cat. <gasps> oh god, please fix your mistakes. Oh, it's back to normal now. Alright, this is gonna be our last patient of the day. Oh. Okay, that took literally no time. What a cute little pooch, though. He's like, what are you doing? What are you looking at? What are you doing to me? Oh, you took the tree and you're all better and now you're not blue. <gasps> what a cutie. Oh my god, he's so cute. <gasps> I'm dead. Okay, so I think that was the last patient. Yes, okay, it looks like everyone else has cleared out also. So we will go ahead and close. And we made a whopping 500, 666 simoleons. 666, a little bit scary. Um, all right, so is anything improving? Oh, she's skilled up in everything. She's actually doing pretty good, I will admit. There we go, wonderful. So, how much money do we get? Okay, we have like 11,000 simoleons in total. I'm, nah, I guess we're doing okay. We don't really need to switch anything over, but we are gonna go ahead and head home. Something I think I'm going to do tomorrow once they wake up is I think I am going to age up Holly. I saw a bunch of your requests to do so. I think we're all just sick and tired of her being a kid and want some teenager mystical Holly in the world. We just need it. We just need it. And then we can start working on her like baking and stuff since I remember uh, we wanted to do like a little bakery type of thing with her. And I think that that's a really cool idea. So we need to start working on it early. So there she is. Throw and get zipper tantrum because this got broken. Is there any way to fix this? We can put it in our inventory, but like, does it do anything? It's still broken. How do we get rid of this? Oh, we just have to sell it, I guess. Well, it's worth a hundred simoleons. So, does she, what is this? My project? <laughs> Somebody is going to pay for destroying Holly's school project. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's not good. Okay, so what I want to do... She's a B student now. That's good. What I wanted to do was see. Does she have any friends? Okay, all her friends seem to be aging up, so I think now is probably a good time for her to age up as well. Um, now, it's not the weekend or anything, but I think I am going to go ahead and throw a party like a proper party and have her friends come over. Um, and then I am going to, let's, let's bake a cake first. Oops, I always choose bake and there's like no cakes in here, which is kind of weird. But let's do cook, let's see what kind of cakes we can make. I think she can make everything, she's level 10. So we should be able to make the coolest of cakes. What's the coolest one we can make? The blue confetti cake, let's do it. Blue confetti cake, here we come. While she's um trying to calm down a little bit, um, why don't we go, what, what's wrong with this one? Okay, attention and activity are low. It's hunger's okay. So why don't we go play with it? And we can talk to it a little bit. And then, oh, Jack's like already asleep. Yeah, he can wake up. He needs to come take care of his so that they don't, you know, one day just uh, turn against us and try to kill us, which is great. So while they're doing that, what are you doing? Oh, he's gonna go take a bath. You're all fine. You're all good. Wait, what's wrong? Why? Bad surroundings. What's wrong with your, what's wrong with your surroundings? 
Looks pretty clean to me. You should see my room. You'd really be uncomfortable with that. You would really be uncomfortable. Wait, let's go offer our friendship to the doge, though. Also, where's Lil Spice? Oh my gosh. He's so little and sweet. No one touch the cake. No one touch the cake. We don't need any more disowning of our children. Go ahead and add a birthday candle to it. Go ahead. No, 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 no. No, don't go mourn anybody yet. There we go, beautiful. Okay, so now let's go like light the fire. Let's make it cute. Okay, so let's throw a little birthday party real quick. And it's gonna be a small, what is all this stuff? A sim is aging up. There's no sim aging up yet. Okay, so I can't plan a social event because my game is glitching so bad saying that a sim is aging up when they're not. So I guess we'll just um, have a family event here, okay? So everyone, come downstairs. I'm gonna have everyone just kind of teleport down here. Everyone come down. Okay, everyone is here. So now we are going to go taste the frosting. Here we go. It's a party! Woo! Tofu aged up. What the? <laughs> oh, that's who is aging up. Wait, where is he? Tofu? Oh, he's an old man. I'm oh, sorry, Tofu. I, w I really, really, really wish it gave you a notification saying, you know, uh, your dog's aging up. We definitely need that. Like, if I could make any suggestion, that would be it. Look at him. He's like, why am I even celebrating? <laughs> he's like, I don't know. <laughs> Did she blow out the candles already? Oh, there she goes. I didn't miss it. Hallelujah. Woo! There she goes. <gasps> Her hair, oh my god, oh my god, Holly aged up, oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm going to make her an outdoor enthusiast only because I can't even remember what this aspiration entails. Uh, and I know she's mystical and it says that she likes, you know, collect herbs and um, garden and, you know, do all that stuff. They like to collect things. So we're gonna make her this inst instead of all the other ones because we do gardening and collecting a lot. So let's just not do that. We're gonna do the outdoor enthusiast, okay? And then for her other trait, I actually have a bunch of custom teenager traits. And one that I thought would be kind of interesting is the relentless tease, which is just this, these Sims can't seem to stop flirting. I thought that that would be kind of interesting to see her as because she's a teenager she's she's got puberty and everything going on she just the hormones are insane so we oh my god look at her that is like not at all what i expected her to look like also the ears i'm in love and oh my god her little freckles too why is she so mad she's so mad though um oh even her eyes are like silver that's so cool but we are gonna go ahead and uh give her a makeover really quick and uh let's see how she comes out First things first, we all know the drill. You gotta get the eyelashes. You, is it even my sim if she doesn't have crazy eyelashes? I'm actually thinking these. I really like these right now. Look, look at her. She's a doll. Oh, Holly Frost is age up to a teen. Thank you. We already figured that one out though. I actually downloaded these freckles and I like them a lot more. These look exactly like my freckles, which is super weird. Cause that's like, it's like exactly mine to the T. Two hours later. Okay, so here is her outfits. Here are her outfits. Let's get the proper grammar in here, sorry. So I love this dress so much. It's like, it looks like you tried way harder than you did but you just put on a dress and you're good to go. That's the beauty of dresses, my friends. Uh, and then her hair, I kept super long because it was pretty long as a child. So I just kept, this is the, like, this is really long. This is the longest hair I think I own. Um, but I really like it. So it fits her, it fits her how she looked as a child. So I like it. And then moving on. Oh no, I just changed her outfit. There we go. Moving on to her formal wear. I've used this dress before because it's my favorite. Okay, gave her some red lipstick, some mm. nice strappy shoes, and we're good to go. Then for her athletic wear, I have her hair in a super long ponytail. And okay, I love me some good rainbow pants. So my girl has rainbow pants. Uh, for sleepwear, I mean, this is just very simple. The cat slippers, obviously. 
for party wear. Another, I like to keep this like blue theme. I don't know why with the Frost family. It's just kind of what I always think of. So here is her party wear. Just a very cute little, uh, it's like a two piece dress kind of thing. And then for her swimwear, we just have a bright yellow swimsuit because yellow makes me happy. So there you go. There is her outfits. I hope you guys like them. And of course, it wouldn't be a proper birthday without a good selfie. So we're just gonna take a nice little photo. One for the books. For some reason, we're listening to the kids' radio. I have to turn this off. Oh, let's listen to the Latin station. Yes. Yes. No, but what? She went and got the apple pie. Well, we had cake right here. Look at them. Little ice queeds. What you think you look like eating versus what you really look like eating. <laughs> Well, anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this part here. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to click the bell on my channel to receive notifications when I upload and to become part of the early squad. Hope you guys are having an awesome day, and I will see you all next time. Bye!